Hello Python programmers, so in this video, we'll discuss how to create facial recognition attendance system using Python. So the concept is very simple. I'm pretty sure that you must have understood the concept from the demo, but still let's dive deep and understand that how this program is actually gonna work. So first of all, we'll have a camera module. The student will come in front of the camera module. The camera module will take the input and Python will check if there is a human face in the frame or not, if there is a human face, it will compare that face with the faces present in the database. Okay, so we'll have a folder with the photos of the student to compare with. Okay, if the specific face is not present, nothing will happen. If the specific face, okay, if the face from the frame is present in our database, we'll update that name in a csv file okay for each day a new csv file will create it and this will have two data first of all the name of the student and the time of entry of student okay so yeah this is what the concept of this program is let's see the requirement obviously you need python to be installed if you haven't installed python yet i'll provide some links in the description from where you can see how to download python Next, we need some external packages. So let me quickly open the CMD and show you that what packages we need and how we can install them. Okay, first is face recognition. This is the showstopper of this program. Then the next package is CV2 or OpenCV. And yeah, this is all we need. NumPy gets installed alongside with face recognition. So yeah. These are all the external packages that we need for this project. All the other packages that we'll be using are already installed with vanilla Python installation. Okay, so with the installation section being done, let's get to our editor so that we can start writing our code. Okay, so now we are into our editor. Now, first of all, let me import all the packages that we have just installed. Then I'll step by step explain you that which package will be used for which task. Okay, so we have imported all the packages. Now let me quickly save and run so that we can check if there's a spelling mistake or not. Okay, so we don't have any spelling mistake here. Now let's go step by step and see that which package will be used for which task. First is CV2 or OpenCV. OpenCV will take the input from the webcam or any external camera module, process it and give it to face recognition. Now face recognition is the showstopper here. It will recognize the faces and compare the faces from the already present faces in our database. Okay, these things will make more sense when we write the code. Okay, this is just a quick overview of which package will be used for which task. NumPy will be used for NumPy array. Also, if you are able to hear the dog barking in the background, ignore it. My neighbor's dog is being weird today. Anyways, so CSV package will be used to handle the CSV file. We are creating, updating and doing all the things with the CSV file. So yeah, this package will be used for that task. Date time will be used to get the exact date and time. As I've already told you, I'll be updating the CSV with the current time. Let me show you real quick. Yeah, you can see the file name will be the date of the entry or the date on which the fi uh, file was created. And uh, the file will have two values. First is the name of the student and second. Okay, so I haven't updated it. But yeah, the second value will be the time of the student's entry. Okay, anyways. This was just a model CSV file to show you that how the CSV file will be created. Let's get back to our program. And uh, OS will be used to access the file CSV I have already told you. Globe, I don't think so. Globe will be used for this program. Let me remove this. Yeah. So, yep, these are the packages. Now let's move ahead. And uh, first of all, let's take the input from the webcam. Okay. Okay, so we are using the video capture method from OpenCV. As you can see, CV2 here and we are writing the parameter as zero because we are taking the input from the default webcam. Now, 
you can take input from multiple external sources you can take the input from the webcam you can take the input from a wi-fi camera i have created video on all of them i'll provide the link in the description okay anyways moving ahead now let's do one thing we have our faces in a separate folder okay we have all the faces of the students these are my students uh, we have them in a separate folder called photos now let's call these photos in our program we'll create uh, we'll create new variables for all these values now let me do that work real quick okay just give me a second okay so now let me quickly explain that what we have done here so first of all we have loaded all the images we have four photos here first is of steve jobs then ratan tata then sad mona which is just the sadder version of mona lisa then we have tesla the iconic scientist i mean all these people are iconic anyways uh we have also done the encoding of these faces the raw data of these faces and stored with the variable name underscore encoding okay as you can see jobs encoding ratan tata encoding sadmona encoding tesla encoding you can write any variables that you want then we have created a list both for the encoding and for names okay now if you want you can automate this also you can create a for loop and load all the images using your os os is the package that you can use to access the files okay so if you have like hundreds of photos you can automate using your os package i just have four so i have created separate variable for them okay then i have created a copy of this known faces name list you'll know about this later on in this project okay then let's create some more variables okay so we have created these four variables face location will be used to uh, save the face location if there is a face in the frame that is coming from the video capture okay these variables will be used for the face which is coming from the webcam okay first is face location the face coordinates then we have face encoding the raw data then we have a uh, face name the name of the face if it's present in this list and uh, then we have a s variable which we'll be using in just a second okay then let's open our csv file and create a writer object class okay but actually before this before i open the file i have to use date time to get the exact date month and year okay okay so we are using date time dot now to get the exact date and time and then we are only interested in year month and date make sure that this y is capital and m and d are small okay and don't use dots here or you will have a problem creating the file so don't use dots here use these hyphens i guess it's called hyphens so yeah use these symbols anyways moving ahead let's uh, create a csv file and create a writer class instance okay so i just did what i have told you we have created a f variable we are using the open uh, method we are using the open method and these are the parameters first is the csv file name so current date the date here dot csv we are opening this with w plus method or write plus method new line is no value then ln write is the class instance we'll be using this when we write the data in this csv file okay so csv dot writer and which file we want to write in this f okay we'll be using this variable later on in our project okay so let's understand that what i have done till now so first we have created a infinite loop using while true then we are reading the video input okay this video capture method is taking the input from the web camera or the webcam and then using this read method we are extracting the video data okay we have two values here we are not interested in the first value first value is just a signal we are only interested in the second value which is the actual video input okay 
then we are decreasing the size of the input that is coming from the webcam we are decreasing it of the scale 0 0.25 0 0.25 okay we are using this resize method from OpenCV. Then we are converting it to RGB because as you know this face recognition package uses the RGB and I have told you multiple times that CV2 takes the input in the BGR format. Okay now the magic is about to happen we are gonna use the face recognition package to recognize the faces. Okay let me write the code real quick. Okay, so this is gonna be a bit tricky. So I want all your attention over here. I guess I have explained you this part. So if s or if true, I have just defined s over here. So if true, face locations, this is this variable. Face locations is equal to face ignition, the package name, dot face locations. Okay, so this will detect if there is a face in the frame or not face encoding is equal to face ignition dot face encoding okay and what are the parameters inside rgb small frame this variable or the video which is coming from the webcam and face locations okay so these two variable will store the face data of the coming frame okay if there is a face in the frame, these two variables will store the data. Face names for now is an empty list. For face encoding in face encodings. Okay, here we have a S, here we don't have a S. Matches is equal to face ignition dot compare faces. Okay, now we are using this mathematical model compare faces. And what are the parameters inside? First is known face encodings. Okay, these are the known face encodings or the data of the known faces. Okay, these known faces. Comma the face encoding, the face which is coming from the webcam. Okay, this data. Then we'll use numpy.argmin to get the best fit. Okay, here we want to see the best probability of the known face. Okay, and if this exists, this name variable will have the name of that face. Okay, this name variable will have the name of the face that we have just recognized. Okay, here we have compared, then we have used numpy to do all the mathematics and give the best probability. And according to that probability, we just found out that what face it was. Okay, then after we have just found out the name, let's enter this name into our CSV file. Okay, so after we have recognized that what face it was, then we'll append our face names list. Then if name in known face names, if the name is present in the known faces name, and if the name is present in the students, okay. This is the students list where it is. Yeah, this is the students list for now. This is just the duplicate of the known faces names. Okay, so basically it will have all the names for now. So if both of these conditions are true, we'll remove the name from the students list. Why we are doing so? So that we don't enter the name multiple times. Now what happens is when the student is standing in front of the camera, multiple frames are taken and we don't want to enter the name multiple times. So for the first frame, both of these conditions will be true. The name will be removed from the students list. This print statement is just to check if this command is working fine or not then we'll get the current time okay we'll get the current time using the datetime dot now method and we want the r minute and second make sure that this h m and s are capital okay then we are using the write row method and as i've told you this ln writer we have used here Okay, and we are entering a tuple inside the first value is the name, the name of the student and the time of the student. And these things will happen in the first frame. In the next frame, the student is still present in front of the webcam. So if name in the known faces, yeah, the name is present in the name, uh, known faces names list, but it's not present in the students list because we have just removed that name from the students list. 
okay so these lines won't be executed now our task is done our program is created the only thing left is to show the output to the user create a exit condition for this while loop and basically close everything okay okay so as i just told you the only thing left is to show the output to the user for that we are using the I am show method from OpenCV and the two parameters inside are first the text which will be present on the GUI and then the video that you want to display. Then we are creating the exit condition and this will be executed when we press the Q button. Okay, the small Q button. Then video capture dot release and destroy all windows. We are also closing a CSV file okay so i guess this is it this was it for the program let's uh, save and run our program so that we can check if there is an error or not obviously there will be a error yep the comma is missing here so face ignition has no attribute face encoding do you mean face encodings uh, i guess i didn't mean that yeah it should be face encodings okay so yeah it's working let me show a similar face let's start with a tata sir so i guess it recognized it yep it recognized it uh let's check our csv file let's check our csv file a new csv file was created and ratan tata cool so yep it's working our program is working and you can see ratan tata sir here let's uh let's add some more values let's add some more values so i guess i close the program i guess i close the program or there was some error nope there is no error the program was closed let's uh let's run this once again and let uh, let's add some more values let me delete uh it's opened but where yeah okay let's delete this and let's uh, run our program once again okay so our program is running let's start with again our tata sir so it recognized and actually you know what it's it was very surprising because the photo that i provided was a younger photo of ratan tata sir but uh, still it's able to recognize it that's uh, that's actually very cool let's do tesla so okay so it recognized tesla also let's do mona lisa so this is the normal picture of mona lisa uh okay i don't think so it's able to recognize let's uh let's check our csv file let's check our csv file okay so the data will show once the program is closed i guess so uh let's close it let's close it and check a csv file uh before the dates were printed correctly now we have some special characters here maybe it's an excel problem as you can see when i'm clicking on this it's showing the time correctly over here but here it's not showing it anyways main thing here is our program is working right the actual data is entered in the program our, our program is working and this is what we wanted yep so yep this was it this was a short video in which i have shown you that how you can create a facial recognition attendance system using python and i'll meet you in my next one bye bye